Yo, yo, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, all praise and glory going to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors on to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule exceptionally well, and also Shalom citations. Mercy and blessings to all you sincere brothers that's out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. My name is Thabo Ahamath of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, I, uh, I came across this article yesterday. Actually, there was an article that was put out a couple years ago where I was first, uh, where I first came across this kind of news. All right, about these Edomites wanting to transplant um, <laughs> uh, pig parts into uh, into uh, into other animals, man, specifically uh, for the purpose of, of of getting it to where they can transplant it into humans. And they start off with baboons. And um, as you can see here, if you go to Google and you just type in pig hearts for humans, you're going to get you're going to get a whole slew of animal of uh, of uh, articles. All right. And um, I'm going to use the article uh, right here from uh, uh, Scientific American. All right. The Telegraph has a, a good article, but you have to have premium to be able to read the full article. All right. And then the other ones, they just kind of all they all kind of repeat the same type of information. So I'm just going to use this one right here from Scientific American. Uh, read a little bit out of this. Um, and then. Uh, <laughs> we'll discuss it and brothers brothers that are familiar with the bible or anybody that has happened to be familiar with the bible you already you can already see how um how perverted and how disgusting and wicked just that concept of wanting to transplant uh any anything from a pig into a person you know or a uh, for that matter just transplanting uh this part from uh, from one species or animal into another species or animal that whole that whole you know the whole concept behind it is is uh is extremely wicked all right because it's against nature but we know that this so-called white man loves to go against the heavenly father he loves to go against nature and the reason he he does that is because he's trying to prove that he is the power he is the ultimate power in the universe and that's not so all right all right, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this article. Um, this says, uh, again, this is from Scientific American. All right, it's a, <laughs> all right, medical and biotech, right? It says, baboon survives for a half a year after heart transplants from pigs. Uh, the cross-species heart procedure brings human trials into view. And this was put up uh, December 5th, 2008. Today's date is uh, December 7th. Okay. Um, and I'm a, I'm a put this, this, uh, disclosure out before I even start reading this article. All right. Because I did, uh, I actually did read this article the, in, in its entirety. I'm not going to read it all right now in this video, uh, which is why I'm showing you the link and everything. So that way, if you want to dive into it, you can, but, um, there are some words inside this article that I am going to butcher, all right? There's some words in this article that I'm not going to be able to pronounce properly. And for that, I do apologize. Uh, anybody that actually knows me, you know that I am not I am not great with the English language, all right? Um, without further ado, let's go ahead. Uh, under the picture, it says, Baboons can stand in for humans during cross-species transplantation studies. Uh, now, for the first time, researchers have kept baboons alive and healthy for up to six months on transplanted pig hearts, okay? Um, it says, in four adjacent enclosures, transplantation researcher Bruno uh, Reichart kept four happy baboons. They can hop around, eat, drink, and they are enjoying life, he says. They watch TV, their favorite cartoon. Uh, their favorite is the cartoon with the chipmunk. Most importantly, he says they were uh, healthy and normal, which is astonishing given the fact that the hearts beating life in their chest were anything but normal for a baboon. All four of the baboons that lived in Reichardt's lab in uh, Ludwig Maximilian, Maximilian uh, University of Munich um, had their original original heart surgically replaced with ones from genetically engineered pigs. <laughs> uh, two of the baboons were euthanized after they lived 90 days. The survival period for any non-human primate 
set by the International Society for Heart and Lung Trans Transplantation as a benchmark to indicate uh, xenotransplantation uh, might be safe enough to try in humans. Okay, so they want to be able to do this procedure also in humans. It says the other, the other two kept going for twice as long before Reichardt's team euthanized them too. That survival period says Muhammad, oh man, what's his last name? Muhammad Mo Mo uh, Hyde Hyde Hyden and Salakia. Like I said, I'm not very good I'm trying to read this. Uh, there's some words. And names in here that that are um, a little out there. Um, Muhammad Muhammad M, <laughs> a surgeon and director of the cardiac xenotransplantation program at the University of Maryland, who was not involved with with this work. Uh, this is what he said. It says is an ext extraordinary achievement. Uh, you cannot stress this more. The next step from here is clinical transplantation in people okay i'm gonna read this other article or i'm sorry this other uh paragraph and then we're gonna we're gonna uh switch switch over and go into that word um xenotransplantation it says despite the fact monkeys are our evolutionary cousins which is a lie uh the uh and can stand in for us fairly well in experiments non-human primates make for poor organ donors uh there are concerns a monkey organ could pass on infectious diseases to the human recipient. And the uh, primates are not easily farmed. But there is one animal that is already bred and raised in mass, um, is easy to genetically edit, and has organs eerily similar to an adult human's, the domestic pig. Researchers have long been eyeing uh, por porcelain. Porcelain hearts as a potential solution to the ongoing donor shortage. So here it is. They're laying it out for you that the pigs is what these people, these people who have these uh, PhDs that sit in these corner offices in these high towers. All right. They're the ones that's making these decisions, saying that they want to use a damn a pig as as the. Um, as the savior of the day, man, that's that's the next step in medical uh, <laughs> in medical achievements is to be able to put a pig's body parts into a human's body parts. And let me tell you something that is absolutely disgusting, man. That's absolutely off. All right. That's absolutely off. All right. Matter of fact, let's go ahead real quick and let's grab. Um, let's go ahead real quick and let's grab uh, Deuteronomy. Uh, what's that? Deuteronomy 14 and 8. All right. Deuteronomy 14 and 8 reads, it says in the swine, which we all know swine is pig and the swine, because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean to you. You shall not eat of their flesh nor touch their dead carcass. All right. And we know that Yahweh Shah said that he came to fulfill the law, not to do away with it. All right. So all those wacky tacky Christians out there uh, uh, filled with lies. You can't come up and say, oh, well, that, that's done away. No, it's not, man. Nowhere in the in the scriptures does it say that the law is done away. All right. So this is still in effect that we're not supposed to even touch the dead body of a of a uh, of a pig. If you're an Israelite, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino or Native American, you're not even supposed to touch the body of a pig. So how are you going to touch a, um, a part that's that's been detached from the pig? All right. And, and then you're going to put that part in, into your body. Nah, man, that's that's not that's not going to be OK with the Heavenly Father. Let me tell you something. You people that trust in this this white man. All right. And you allow him uh, to do these these type of things to you. You're going to you're going to be destroyed. All right. Right alongside with the white man, because ultimately you're choosing him over your over the Heavenly Father. All right. You're choosing to follow what he declares is is OK to do. And you're saying that that's better than what the Most High declared is okay and right to do. All right. So um, we're not even supposed to be touching the dead body of a pig, man. Let's go to uh, I want to grab. I pulled up this word uh, xenotransplantation from Wikipedia. All right. And I want to read down here. It says actually I'm going to read the very first paragraph because it's going to break down what that word means. And then I'm going to jump down 
uh, to where I was just at. This is a uh, Zeno transplantation. It says Zeno's from Greek meaning foreign or strange, or uh, hetero hetero uh, log transplant is the transplantation of living cells, tissues, or organs from one species to another. Which that's that's wicked, man. I don't care. I don't care what it is, man. You can you ain't supposed to be mixing around uh these if hey if the most high wanted you to have the same heart that a pig had he would have made you a goddamn pig man all right hey but you you white people are pigs man you are what you eat and this is what you want you want to be a pig go ahead and be a pig man you guys are similar in your <laughs> your skin and your grossness anyway all right the swine the swine of humans is is uh is you so-called white people man all right you vile creatures it says, um, it says, uh, it says, uh, so that's what, that's what that word means. All right. And I'm not going to read the rest of that. Cause that's a lot of, they has got a lot of crazy terminology in there, but that's what that word, uh, xenotransplantation means. If you go down here to, uh, I think I went too far. I think I went too far. Let's go here. This says, um, potential animal organ donors. All right. It says, since they are closest relatives to humans, non-human primates were first considered as a potential organ source for xenotransplantation to humans. Ch chimpanzees were originally considered the best option since their organs are of similar size and they have good blood type compatibility with humans, which make them potential candidates for xenotransfusions. <laughs> However, since chimpanzees are listed as an endangered species, other potential donors were sought. Baboons are more readily available, but impractical as potential donors. Problems include their smaller body size, the infrequency of blood group O, the universal donor, their long uh, gestation period, and their typically small number of offspring. In addition, a major problem with the use of non-human primates is the increased risk uh, I'm sorry, the increased risk of disease transmission since they are so closely related to humans. All right. So they don't want to use ch any type of uh, primates or monkeys or whatever, which they, they declare to be um, evolutionary, the same as humans or evolutionary uh, cousins of humans, which that's a damn lie, man. All right. The scriptures tell you how all the animals was created. All right. And it doesn't say that it was through evolution. It doesn't say that everybody started out as a fish and then, you know, turned into to birds and men. All right. That's not how the scriptures lay out that that story. Read knowing it says pigs are currently thought to be the best candidates for organ donation. The risk of cross species disease transmission is decreased because of their increase. Uh, how do you pronounce this? Uh, Pylogenic, pylogenic, um, phylogenic distance from humans. All right. It says they are readily available. Their organs are atomically, atomically uh, compatible in size, and new infectious agents are less likely since they have been in close contact with humans through domestication for many generations. Current experiments in uh, xeno transplant transplantation uh most often uses pigs as the donor and baboons as human models all right so that just goes along with with that what that article was saying but you damn hey you edomites you really think that you're the heavenly father you think that you have full permission to go around messing with uh what the heavenly father put together and guess what man you hey your time is going to come and you're going to to where you get corrected all right the time is going to come where you're going to get corrected. And the Most High is going to show you how insignificant and how powerless you actually are, man. You Edomites. How powerless you actually are. You white people are pigs. I'm going to say that again. Start calling you Esau Oinkman. All right. Oink is in what a pig makes. Oink, oink. You know, Esau Oinkman. You get it? Esau Oinkman. You get it? Anyway, um, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and jump into uh some scriptures man first thing i want to grab is uh second thessalonians all right the the second chapter verse four all right because this actually i'm gonna start at verse three is this, this proves a point man okay 
It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called God. All right. And let's, hey, as I read this, just think about a group of people that has accomplished uh, what the scripture is saying. All right. It says, who opposeth and exalt him himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself to that uh, he is God. All right. Now, who fits that? Uh, description who is it that is is purposely uh spending resources in uh trying to find loopholes and ways around how the most high set nature up all right trying to find a way to control uh what the most high made as a uncontrollable source all right made above his limits to be able to control let's uh, who's who's doing that who's setting themselves as if they are the heavenly father painting themselves as if they're uh, uh the heavenly father and the heavenly host all right who is it that you know is is showing themselves to be the power who's the top ones that be like oh i'm an atheist because there's no god and i'm i'm the supreme you know what i'm saying who's the one that's doing all that man all right that dude stephen hopkins that dead demon that dead decrepit demon he was an atheist was he not this dude Tesla is an atheist, is he not? All right, all these these famous inventors and these men of science, all right, are they're all they're all atheists, man. If you believe in evolution, uh, evolutionism, then you don't believe in the heavenly Father, you know. If you believe believe that we evolved from damn monkeys and fish, then you don't believe in the heavenly Father, man. All right. So who is it that's fitting that bill to be? Uh, the one that's uh, setting himself as the heavenly father is you damn Edomites, man. That's why you're pumping this money into trying to put uh, parts from a pig into people, which is absolutely off. All right. Um, what's that? Daniel's 11. Is that Daniel's 11? Um, Daniel. Uh, I think it is 11. Daniel 11. Uh, verse uh, around verse 30 somewhere. Um, this is Daniel chapter 11, verse 36. It says, and the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every God and shall speak marvelous things against the, uh, the God of gods, which is the heavenly father, the most high power, Yahweh. It says, and shall, uh, prosper till the indignation be accomplished for that for that that is determined shall be done all right so hey the scriptures long warned us that things like this was going to happen that you was going to have people that uh were in control and that they were going to um exalt themselves as if they were the heavenly father but the most high most high already told us that everybody that is proud and puffed up shall be uh brought low all right you know and he that is up high is going to be uh uh, uh abased you know very rough para paraphrase uh, paraphrasing anyway uh let's go to uh the book of ezekiel and get another example of when the most High said that these people are people in general that that want to exalt themselves as the heavenly father is going to be uh brought down this is ezekiel uh this is ezekiel chapter 2 uh verse 9 so this is another example of 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 um i'm sorry chapter 2 We'll start at, we'll start around verse two. All right. This is a, uh, I'm sorry. This, I don't even need Ezekiel two. Ezekiel 28. What am I doing? This is, um, Ezekiel chapter 28, verse two through, through around verse nine. Anyway, um, let's not grab that. Ezekiel chapter 28. Start at verse two. All right. This is another example that you have these people that think that they're the heavenly father. All right. It says, Son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrus, thus saith the Lord power, because thine heart is lifted up, uh, that thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art a man and not God, though thou set, thou set thy heart as the heart of God. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. All right. And Esau is fitting the bill. Uh, for for what's being described here, man, the nation of Edom, 
All right. These scientific scholars, these people that are making these breakthroughs in the medical world. All right. That's deceiving the people, especially you so-called. Yeah, you black women, man. You black women are done. You Jake women, period, are done, man, because you're you're the main ones that's trying to run to the damn doctor, uh, trying to get some damn pills, trying to get some damn uh, shot or trying to get something inserted into your body that's fake or something plugged in your body for birth control or, you know, what have you, man. You you women are the ones that will drag your husband to the to the hospital, you know, make him go and get pills and all this other stuff, man. You women, you women, you women ain't got no damn understanding, man. You you guys clearly choose Esau as your power rather than the Heavenly Father. But that's okay, because the Most High is going to deal with you, all right? That's okay, because the Most High is going to deal with you. So I'm not really worried about that. But I I, I had to make that point that you women, you re women really, you, 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 you bugged out, man. You ain't got no, hey, you, you just need an Israelite man in your life. That's it. A man that's aware of the Heavenly Father. All right, anyway. It says, um, it says that they're wiser than Daniel. OK, uh, verse four, with thy wisdom and thine understanding thou hast gotten the riches. And you know what? They are wise, man, because it's, it's got to take it's got to take some. Uh, th but they're wise in wickedness, man. The scriptures tell you the Apocrypha in the book of Sirach. It tells you that uh, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. All right. <laughs> the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. So you you guys you guys you know something, but it's all on the uh the left hand side. It's all some wicked stuff, man. Knowing that a pig's heart is similar in size to an adult human's heart. You know? What what do you need that information for? So you could try to put a pig's heart into a human? That'll make man that's hey, that's 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 off. Okay? So you guys are you guys you guys are smart, alright? You're sharp. Alright? It says, with thy wisdom and with thine understanding thou hast gotten thee riches and has gotten gold and silver unto thy treasures. By the great wisdom and by thy traffic has thou increased thy riches and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches. So you Edomites, because you're at the top of the society, because you've built this world to be uh, as wicked as you want it to be. And you can, you know, control weather and you can control um, uh, uh toxicness of of the of <laughs> of of things and you can modify these these plants and you can modify these animals because you could do all that you got your head lifted up as if you're the heavenly father yourself man all right it says uh therefore thus saith the lord power because thou have set thine heart as the heart of the most high behold therefore i will bring strangers upon thee and tr uh the trouble I'm sorry, the terrible of the nations and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom and they shall defile thy brightness. Uh, they shall bring thee down to the pit and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? So when the Most High sends these other nations up against you and even when Yahweh Shai himself come up against you people, are you still going to be saying that? You know, you're the strong power of the earth that you are the creator of all this stuff. All right. It says, um, <laughs> it says, but thou shalt be a man and no God in the hand of him that slayeth thee. When the most high lets these nations really tear you people apart, man, you know, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna have that power to say that you're above anybody, man. All right. It says, thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised and uh, by the hand of the strangers, for I have spoken it, saith the Lord power. So, you know, um, that that is going to be a scenario that's going to play out for the nation of Israel. I'm sorry, for the nation of Edom as well um, in the future, because they have committed this act all over again, man. All right. History repeats itself. That's how it goes. All right. So you've had examples in the past of men that thought that they were the heavenly father and that put themselves on high and that got debased. So the most High is going to do the same thing for you damn Edomites, man. You you pigs out there. Esau Oinkman. All right. You people that's so obsessed with pigs, man. So obsessed with bacon. So obsessed with ham. So obsessed with uh, sausage. All right. And you people are gross. All right. And the most high, the most high is going to uh, exact his judgment. All right. But hey, pretty much that was the point. Lord willing, that was edifying. So until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.